I've been asked a couple times now, why would I leave a tenure track faculty position with the title of director of California's premier animal health science program in veterinary technology for a full-time position at Just Food for Dogs? And the reality is that all of my sort of veterinary career changes have had to do with the impact that one of my pets have, has had on me personally. If you're one of my students, you know the shadow story. And uh, that is essentially how I decided to become a veterinarian. Well, my decision to join Just Food for Dogs is based on the Ray story. And it goes a little something like this. In about 2009, 2010, noticed that he was drinking a lot more water. He was, using, he was going to the bathroom more. He was peeing more and that's usually a sign of something going on in the kidneys. So we tested him and sure enough, he could never concentrate his urine, which means that his kidneys couldn't do their job. We figured out that he had early signs of kidney disease. Kidney disease is usually progressive and it tends to get worse and so I would do a series of urinalyses to confirm the diagnosis and I could never get him to concentrate his urine, which is the function of the kidneys. The only treatment for renal disease at that stage is to put him on a nutritional management program, so some sort of prescription diet that is either modified or low in protein. At this point, we hadn't developed anything for Just Food for Dogs yet. We were in the works, but we hadn't developed it yet, so I put him on the leading commercial brand. He ate it for about six months. After six months, he stopped eating it. Now, as a veterinarian, this concerned me because if he starts uh, building up toxins in his blood, it might be a, one of the reasons why his appetite goes low. So in other words, it could be a sign that his renal disease was getting worse. So I kept taking him in, testing him, but it, it, didn't, it didn't show that his renal disease was getting worse, he just didn't like the food. And actually that's quite common with the commercial diets. They, uh, the, the patient would stop eating the food because of the way it's formulated and because it's so severely restricted and quite frankly what they like most, which is, which is protein. Fortunately, soon thereafter, we came out with the renal line of veterinary diets, including renal low protein and moderate protein. Uh, Ray qualified for the moderate protein diet, and I switched Ray onto that immediately. It was a smooth transition. He loves the food. Um, he licks his bowl clean every time, and he's never looked back. Now, that was just the beginning of the story. So, so Ray uh, surprised us all when I noticed about a couple months ago that he stopped um, drinking as much water and he wasn't peeing as much. So I took him into Cal Poly Pomona and I had the students run a urinalysis and they reported to me that his urine was somewhat concentrated. So I, I didn't believe him at first. I even, I even had to do the test myself and sure enough it confirmed that they were absolutely right. The, the specific gravity was starting to go up, which has never been the case for him. So I took him into the uh, clinic that I work at the following week and we ran a urinalysis and his urine specific gravity, which is essentially the measurement of concentration of his urine was high, it was 1.045. Translation, his kidneys were working again and that really clinched it for me. I realized immediately that what we're doing at Just Food for Dogs is groundbreaking, we're changing the way people feed their dogs, we're changing the way that an industry works and more importantly we're making Ray live a little longer. Ray is doing incredibly well for a 16-year-old golden retriever. I mean, that sort of age is, is not common for his breed. I mean, yeah, Ray's got some achy joints and he's sometimes weak on his back legs, but essentially he still thinks that he's a puppy. Sometimes I have to slow him down because I know he'll be sore if, he, if, he, if I don't. And no one's told him he's 16, so he still chases after the ball and he'll go as long as his body will let him. And that level of quality of life at his age is, is just is very rewarding. And I think that what we're doing at Just Food for Dogs and what we're doing in veterinary medicine and the advances in veterinary nutrition, we're starting to see more and more uh, older dogs getting to that age and being healthy. Biologically, there is no other explanation. It's not like our pets are out in the wild, in the environment, being subjected to selection pressures and evolving. They're pampered pets that are living with us indoors, so the only real reason that their life expectancy would continue to increase is due to the, what we are doing for them. And uh, while my impact is incredible at Cal Poly, I'm very, very excited about the long-term uh, long impact that we're gonna have with Just Food for Dogs and Whole Food Nutrition.